Review Scalpers USA is back in the building, baby, because, you know, I haven't talked about scalpers in a very long time, like 24 hours, whatever shall I do. Uh. Skip it up and that up. So beyond people simply just scalping consoles, like say they bought one at MSRP and then they go on eBay and sell a PlayStation 5 or Series X for close to $2,000, what I really hate, and I think it should be illegal, is bot software where software helps to circumvent like two-factor authentication on Walmart or Amazon or Target or whatever the case may be where you're buying your console or expensive piece of hardware from, those should be illegal. (laughs) Because if this piece of software is giving someone an unfair advantage to get these consoles, that's not fair. Like I always say, hey, If I go to a website and because you snooze, you lose, I get there too late, I don't get my PS5 or Series X or RTX 3080, that's on me. So long as the website doesn't shut down, that I can't stand. And that's websites in 2020 should be able to handle as much traffic as you throw at them. But if I just go to a website and the website's running and functional and I miss out on stock simply because I got there too late. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. It's not that, oh, I, it's your fault that I didn't get the console if everything, if other people rushed there first and got it naturally and paid MSRP for it and weren't using bots. I'm okay with that. But when bots are in place and people are being shady just because they want to make that cash money and literally in some cases get thousands of consoles to resell at exorbitant prices, that is when my nipples get angry. Both of them. Like fire and smoke come out of my nips. Well, anyway, Walmart seems to despise bots too, finally. Slow clap for getting their asses in gear at the 11th hour. But the reason why I'm still giving them some credit, because they canceled 20 million PS5 bot orders in just two hours. This comes from ScreenRant.com. I'll read it to you, then we'll discuss. Retail giant Walmart was able to thwart the attempts of PS5 bots attempting to purchase the current-gen console during the company's November 25th online restock, canceling 20 million different bot orders within the first half hour of the restock alone. The PS5 pre-order period and its subsequent online restocks have notoriously been fraught with site crashes, inconsistent listing times, and most of all, a slew of botters attempting to circumvent human error and reaction time in order to snag consoles for resale. But let me just say it for the people that are going to say it in the comment section that I I like to laugh at. It's It's just capitalism, bro. It's just supply and demand. It's just people using pieces of software to gain an unfair advantage and order 20 million consoles. Come on, bro. 20 million. Not 10, not 20, not even a couple thousand. 20 million. Obviously, they, Walmart didn't have 20 million PlayStation 5s, but they, the bots flooded the system so much that there were 20 million orders there. How How is that natural supply and demand? I'll play some, editor, play some kind of fake Jeopardy music. I'll wait. I'm going to wait and relax here. I'll sip something out of my exposed mug. Oh, look, there's nothing in it. It's not natural supply and demand. It's not natural supply and demand. When you have so many people looking to skirt the system to try to make a huge profit off of popular hardware that just came out. Look, I get if there was more supply in stock, they wouldn't be able to make the money. But that's insane. That's insane. And that's artificially inflating the the demand. I know I've talked about this 67.8 times before, but it has to be said again. I don't know how people could defend people that do this. I don't know. And I'm glad to see that the UK is finally stepping in and saying, hey, gee, maybe at least we should make this bot software illegal. I agree, at least in the States or anywhere else, if if they make the bot software illegal so people can't or most people people will still try they don't care if it's illegal or not some people but some people will care at least if we mitigate how many people are using this bot software to try to circumvent the two-factor authentication it would help it would help i know no law stops every crime but it helps mitigate crimes you know what i'm saying so something needs to be done 20 million bot orders In just two hours, we're at Walmart alone for the PlayStation 5. At this point, if you could still tell me this is just capitalism, bro, 
I'm sorry you're a dumbass because it's not and something needs to be done and there needs to be regulation on things like this so it doesn't happen again. iPad, shut up. This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Did I mention screw scalpers? Yeah, screw scalpers. You blew it. Hey, if you enjoy my content, consider becoming a Review Tech USA member. I'll have a link below in the description. I live stream now on this channel all the time, and it gives you access to cool emoticons to use as well while I live stream. Again, link below in the description. Thank you for your continued support.